here from Soul of Quest. Uh, so you've just watched the playthrough for Black Orchestra, and now you want to know uh, my opinions on the game. So this is only uh, mainly for the solo uh, standpoint, okay? As all of my solo impressions, they are um, you know targeting the solo player, not the the player who plays co-op mostly. God forbid you play co-op. I mean, who, who would play with someone else? We want. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but we play solo mainly here, so my opinions are based on that uh, primarily, okay? And why am I saying this uh, right now? Because this video especially, and this game especially, my opinions are super, um, really, really uh, different between solo and the co-op play. Because I've, uh, I've tried it in co-op the first times I played. And it, uh, you know, I, I, I enjoyed the game. Uh, it's not that I don't enjoy it in solo, but in, in co-op, um, the, the, the bad things about the game are less stressful. Let's put it that way. You can deal with them a little bit more because you're, you're having fun with other people and you're sharing in both the excitement, both the fun, and you're sharing also the disappointment and the frustration, okay? In the solo, not so much. I don't know if it was obvious or if... Uh, you guys could get that sense, but in my playthrough, I was really getting frustrated. Um, and that's kind of, it's not the problem of the game itself. It's the problem with this little thing, which are called dice. And I mean, you can just, uh, uh, it, it's the main grab of this game. I, I'm just going to start with the bad stuff. I'll talk about the good stuff as well, because I like, I like the game, but it, it has its flaws. And the dice are, are one of the big ones. Because, I mean, we, we did a big playthrough. I had to stop it uh, at that point because I knew we weren't going to, to, to be able to kill him. We had used our best chances and we were, we were close, but not good enough. Uh, but we don't want to win every time either, okay? The problem is not winning. The problem is that getting up to that point of almost winning takes a bit. I mean, the game, it, it, takes, quite a, it takes quite a while. And I mean, if you're, if you're betting everything, uh, let's say, at the start, you have all the items, you're ready to kill Hitler, you can't because the military support is at max and, or is really high. And then, yeah, okay, let's roll the descent, let's roll these dice, these dice and get successes and get the descent track uh, filled to lower his support. Okay, awesome, we did it. And then there's an event that raises it by two. And we can't uh, keep up with that. You can't keep up with the event tech. So uh, the game keeps pushing you, you know, it keeps dragging you a bit down. So the, the play, um, by raising the, the military support, so the play itself is going to drag uh, a little bit most of the time. I mean, if you're good, even if you're a bit lucky, you can get a good chance, you know, a good setup to try and uh, assassinate Hitler uh, in the first and second uh, stages. That's possible, that's totally possible. And that if you do it in that, in that time, I mean, the game will take, uh, I don't know, half an hour, perhaps. If not, it's going to take quite a while because th those middle uh, stages, they're going to keep raising his military support. It's going to keep high. Even if you lower it with the descent track, I mean, the game is just gonna go against you and keep pushing it up again. So it's going to take quite a bit of time. And it's frustrating because after all of that time, you still have to roll these dice. The odds aren't amazing. I mean, they are uh, very possible, but they aren't amazing. And as you can see, you can just get unlucky. And then you lose the game because the dice didn't want you to win. I mean, I'm fine with... Uh, I don't want to win every game because that, that would be a bad game, uh, to be honest. You, you don't want to win every time. It's just you don't want to get so frustrated uh, for not being able to win after so long. Because the game, yeah, it drags a little bit, and uh, that kind of um, detracts detracts from the experience, because it's an amazing experience. It's such a thematic game. So I almost forgot to mention that the game actually uh, comes with a few variants on the rulebook, and I wanted to mention them because uh, one of them I think has the potential to kind of change my opinion a little bit on uh, one of the bad the. the Less good aspects of the game, let's call it like that. Because um, if you haven't noticed, if you did notice in the playthrough, let's say you're in the, the initial stages, you have all the items needed to, to try your plot, but then the, um, the military support, it's, it's up there and you can't lower it 
uh, that efficiently because you lower one the event comes up that uh, increases it again you lower it another event comes up so you're kind of in a, a stale in a stale uh, stalemate uh, in those middle uh, stages and you don't want to you don't have really anything to do because uh, you maybe you have all your items collected you have your plot you are ready to try to assassinate Hitler and there's nothing else to do you're just waiting waiting your time for the military support to drop okay that kind of happened in our playthrough if you if you guys noticed uh, and it kind of it brings a little bit of a stale uh, a stalemate to the game and there's a variant here let me uh, tell you it's the trusted lieutenants and in this variant i'm just going to read it from the rule book i think it's a good information to pass on to you because i think this actually uh, can can save the game in that aspect uh, in this variant the deputies not that it needs to be sorry not that it needs to be saved i'm maybe not using the the right terms uh, but it can definitely lower the frustration in that middle part of the game so in this variant, deputies can be killed with plot cards in the same way Hitler can. The difficulty for deputies is always two, so you just need two successes. To win, you must not only eliminate Hitler, you must eliminate at least two of his deputies as well. Even if Hitler is killed first, you, you assume that the trusted lieutenants continue to direct the war effort. So you have to kill Hitler and two lieutenants. But now you have something else to do. You have to kill these two lieutenants. And two successes, that's not, that's not too bad. You can definitely, definitely do it. So that really gives you another purpose in the mid game. So you can just go around, you kill the ones that you, you think they uh, have um, the worst, uh, how do you call it, penalties. The ones that when they start in, in your space offer you the, the worst penalties. So you can kill those guys. It's another objective and it's something to pursue in the mid game. So I think this variant is awesome. Honestly, I might try it. I'll try it just like this once. And I think I might even try like a house rule to say if I kill one lieutenant, I can then, you know how the difficulty, you put the difficulty, you um, cover the the easy the standard and the hard you cover the military support the number two number three number four if you kill a lieutenant i might house rule this i've never tried it i'm just throwing it out there maybe let's say we kill a lieutenant and we cover the seven on the military support so you're covering the bottom and the top and you're kind of creating a window there to kill him uh which can you know help in the frustration uh, in the way that you every time you keep lowering the military support the game keeps pushing it up to seven again so maybe killing one lieutenant you cover the seven and then six becomes the the maximum i'm not sure this is just i'm throwing it out there just uh, a thought that came came to my head and it might uh it might be good it might be bad i don't know <laughs> if you try it please let me know um how it worked out i will i will definitely try it just now, maybe not too soon because yeah this was a huge playthrough uh, uh, and yeah, we have to try other games here. Um, so, okay. So, moving on to <laughs> other topics. I mean, everything in this game, you know, it, it transpires a theme. The character sheets are great. I love them. I love these, uh, the little tokens for the items. They look, they look great. Uh, the events, I love the, the, the photos. And they, you know, they really went with, um... They really went with the historical feeling. Having the key events, you know, uh, some stuff can't happen if the key event is up. They are really going for the that history, the historical feel, that themat thematic feel. And that's super in their favor. I love the board. The board is beautiful. Uh, simple but beautiful in, in its own way. I really like it. Uh, it's, yeah, it's just, it's a dice game. It's not a dice game, but it's a game that the outcome will depend on dice. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm good with it, uh, to be honest. In like I said, if you play it with other people, it's uh, it's super super fun. And uh, even if you fail, you know you're having a laugh. It, it's it's a different environment than playing solo. At least for me, I'm, I'm speaking in my experience. Again, this is very personal, uh, very personal opinion. So you might not share in the opinion. You might just. Play it and be fine with, uh, you know, depending completely on the dice and, and not be frustrating for you. Uh, I mean, I do have fun while playing, but 
you know, it, it takes so long and I could be playing something else in like two, I, I, it can take up to two hours. I think my first game, but we were learning, it took like two hours and a half. We had three players, we were three players. Um, I'm not sure how long this playthrough was because I didn't do it all in one go. Okay, so I'm not sure, but I'm guessing this was like, what, one hour and a half, perhaps? Maybe even more, I'm not sure. Um, so that's that's quite a bit for a, for a solo game. It's quite quite a stretch of time, uh, you know. And and after an hour and a half, you ha having to roll these dice and having them decide if you did a good job or not. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of um, what's the word? Uh, unfruitful, you know. All that hard work was a bit unfruitful. But I guess that's uh, that replicates, you know, the the thing about killing Hitler. Let's say you were trying to assassinate Hitler, you would need a lot of luck, I, I guess, as well. So uh, <laughs> in that, it is keeping with the theme. So that is the bad stuff. Okay, so we've done with the bad stuff. I talked about some good stuff. I mean, the theme is amazing. I love the theme. I like how the um, there's difficulty levels here. The they, they aren't. Uh, as important as you are playing the game because uh, it's going to go up and down the, the military support but having standard difficulty and saying okay this uh, this won't ever go down from three the military support or from four which is in, at hard uh, that that's fine that is fine you know I, I'm actually I'm looking at this and I was thinking well maybe we didn't win because I was a bit impatient maybe I could have set up you know the board even better uh, to try and, and kill Hitler, but I mean, yeah, we could be here forever. We could wait until stage seven and have like loads of cards for rerolls and all of that. Uh, but that does that make it better? I'm not sure if it's my impatience or I mean, I kind of still I, I kind of I took like three tries, I think three or four plot attempts. Two of them I was pretty well equipped and the other two were just let's try and see if we get lucky here. Um, so yeah, I don't think, I don't know if I could be even much more well equipped to, to try the plot events, but still, uh, apart from that, good stuff. The prison, I love the prison. Uh, again, it's one aspect that in solo, it's not really that fun, uh, getting these interrogation cards and uh, going through them. But when you're playing with other people, it's really cool because they have no idea what you're reading and you kind of have to pick a choice like... Uh, do I want to get out of prison right now, easy way, or do I want to kind of screw my team and uh, let's say here, lower two conspirators motivation by one, you are released. Um, yeah, you, you, you might just screw your teammates and they can get kind of pissed, but you can't even tell them what are the choices you have. You, you just do what you do, you're out of prison, no one talks about it. And that, I really like that. I really, really like that. So this, I mean, although it's a great, um, it is a great addition and a great mechanic. I love the way that you, you, what you do, your mechanics while in prison. It's even better when playing cooperative. So um, yeah, it's both, you know, it's a plus for the game for sure. Uh, but again, as a solo experience, it's good, but it's even better if you play co-op. So yeah, play co-op like once or twice. But then go and play solo because that's that's really fun. Uh, but yeah, uh, again, what else do I like about the game? I like the mechanics in the Gestapo raid. It keeps that little that well, it's not little. It's a big tension because uh, when the deck is kind of going low and there's no Gestapo raids yet, you're like, oh, did we take them out with those two random cards you take out at the beginning? Did we remove them or are they still in there? Is it okay to keep my uh, suspicion at extreme? Is it okay to keep this illegal card? Because it's amazing. It's an amazing card. Should I use it? You know, that tension is awesome. I love that mechanic, that randomness uh, they do with the setup and also with some key events because they remove quite a few cards from the deck as well. So the tension is there definitely in solo as well because you really don't, you aren't sure. Is this safe or not? You're really unsure about that. That's awesome. Uh, so, I mean, all in all, it has really uh, great strengths and it is a cool game. I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to play it that often solo. Um, probably when I have 
a bit of a spare time because it can take quite a bit as you as you saw uh, and still i mean you, you have to decide for yourself to be honest um you really have to to ask that question uh is am i okay with uh, with having you know my luck decided by these little things with these dice um i'm okay with it I, i'm not a huge dice uh, guy but uh yeah sure i don't mind having you know one or two games that are more dependent on it you know having a little bit of diversity in your collection collection is fine and the theme is so good they, they did such a good work uh with the second printing you know the, the dice they changed the dice so at least they're more pleasant to look at because they were a bit simpler uh, in the first print of the game but yeah that was black orchestra i'm just rambling here uh i hope i i'm giving you some useful information to make up your own mind about the game um to be honest i mean if uh, i'm not here reviewing this for a co-op uh, experience but it's one of those games that i would definitely recommend for co-op if i had a co-op channel i don't i have a solo i'm not going to tell you buy it or don't buy it you have to make your decision that decision yourself uh, what I can tell you is that, well, I am keeping it, um, but yeah, and I'm playing it when I know I have the time for it and the disposition uh, for it as well, because I know these are in there and I will have to depend on them. But still, when I will, the, the times I want to have that experience, you know, that, that luck factor, that tension factor, uh, I mean, it's all tension. The Gestapo cards in there are tension. Uh, rolling the dice is really tense. I mean, um, yeah, all in all, it's a great package component wise i mean it's great i know i was not picky by the way yeah before i finish sorry uh, i was not picky while uh, doing the unboxing i don't know if you guys watched it um if you don't well i was a bit nitpicky with the player tokens uh, both the the pawns and the the little cubes i was not picky because oh everything is so thematic and these pawns don't uh, don't really add to that uh they're kind of disappointing they're not actually when you're playing and they're on the board they don't look that bad and they don't really steal from the experience as much as i thought it would while unboxing but that's the unboxing you you're just removing stuff from a box you have no idea of the quality or uh, well you do have the quality you don't have any idea of the integration in the gameplay how it's actually going to feel while playing uh yeah and now that i've played I take that back, it, they're fine, they're fine. I mean, sure, they could be upgraded, but they're fine. So component-wise, this game is uh, really, really good. I love the, the cards, the artwork, uh, the dice are amazing. You know, as much as they were uh, mean to me, I love them. I love how they look. Um, the board is amazing, again. Everything looks good uh, component-wise. It's just the, the, well, the lengthy 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 sorry gameplay uh that kind of took it away from me for for from being you know super high on my list uh but still i'm keeping it that was black orchestra again uh hope you guys can make your own uh opinions with the playthrough and i hope everything was useful for you and yeah i'll see you on the next one guys stay safe bye bye